NAACP Legal Defense Fund, they have been very outspoken when it comes to not confirming uh, Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. Uh, they have now released a uh, video done by John Legend uh, urging uh, senators not to vote for him. Here it is. Who becomes the next Supreme Court justice is the decision of a lifetime, your lifetime. Brett Kavanaugh's troubling views on the issues that matter most and his rushed confirmation process make him unfit for a lifetime appointment to the Supreme Court. A court that decides how safe I'll be. That will decide if I can vote. A court that decides where we can learn and how I am treated. That will make decisions about how I can control my body. A court that will decide if our family will stay together. That will decide if I have the right to stand up to my boss. A court that will decide if I get equal pay. Or how much care I deserve. This fall, your senators will vote on Kavanaugh. How they vote will impact you for a lifetime. Tell them to vote no on Kavanaugh. Remember, they answer to you. To stop Kavanaugh, call your senators at 202-224-3121 or visit justice2018.org for more info. All right, folks, let's hear what our panel has to say about that. Joining us right now is Liz Copeland. She's the founder and president of the Urban Conservative Project. Uh, Lauren Victoria Burt, political analyst and writer for NBC Black. And Julianne Malvo, economist and president emerita at Bennett College. All right, folks. Uh, so what do you think about not only that video, but also all the drama we're still hearing? Uh, uh, this woman saying, look, there needs, needs, should be an F FBI investigation. Uh, of course, uh, the gentleman who she said was in the room. Uh, when it happened, he now says, I am not going to testify. Uh, and so, Liz, what, sh what should happen? Because as of now, uh, she's not going to testify on Monday, and Kavanaugh will. Yeah, so as um, President Trump is looking at this, he has to be thinking that white women were one of the reasons why he got into office. I mean, he pulled The big really reason, 53% of white women voted for, for Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Yeah, and it was like 42% for uh, Hillary Clinton, who, it goes without saying, is a white woman. Um, but I think as a Republican, I'm looking at this and I'm comparing the uh, the way that the Republican Party is responding to um, Dr. Ford and the way the Republican Party uh, responded and supported Anita Hill. And when you look supported? at the, No, they didn't. That's the problem. And so I'm not only seeing an issue of gender mm -hmm. um, and there being clearly, you know, I don't want to have any uh, victim blaming, but there seems to be this reoccurring theme within the the Republican Party, um, especially when it's coming down from evangelicals, uh, that, you know, Brett Kavanaugh is a really good person, and because you're a Republican, you should support him. But we should follow the facts, and we should let the, the facts take us to a conclusion. The, uh, Dr. Ford has already said she's not going to show up on Monday. She wants an FBI investigation. The FBI investigated Anita Hill's claims, and they did so in three days. If this president truly wanted to support the women that helped him get into office, if he wanted to take a stand and say that he wants to make sure that everything is done above board, he he would open up an FBI investigation. But he hates the FBI. He's trashed the FBI all week. Uh, he blistered uh, his own attorney general today by saying, I don't even I have don't an have attorney one. general. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he wants to decimate the FBI because for him, it's not about justice. It's about Russia. Yeah, yeah he hates the FBI until his Supreme Court nominee is in trouble. Uh, and they think probably they perceive that perhaps they could maybe be helped by that. I don't know. My thing is, I think Brett Kavanaugh, I mean, obviously the Me Too movement is important and we, a long overdue movement that should have happened a long time ago to say the least. We know men are typically in power and in control in most office situations, but I have to say I am a believer in due process. I like the idea of an investigation before the hearing. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, it's not going to uh, happen. But, but, you know, one of the things that you have to think about, I think, for the Republicans is, you know, they have that all-male lineup on the Senate Judiciary hearing. 13. 13 out, men. Starts out we with know, Orrin is, Hatch. One, one second, second. One second. Start, starts out with Orrin Hatch. <laughs> Cornyn, Chuck Grassley, and Ted Cruz. These are our first questioners. You don't get to Senator Sasser <laughs> until you get to somebody who's sort of a younger senator. I think that's hugely problematic optics for them. Uh, no. Mark, Mark Judge, the fact they don't want Mark Judge to testify right. tells you something, too. He has a book where there's a Bart O. Kavanaugh in the book. That would indicate that there's, a, there's an inference there that there was a friend with a similar name and a similar story. They don't want to testify because you're under oath now. You're not talking to the press. Right. You can lie. That's why he put out that statement through his attorney, right, that I'm not going to say this and I'm not going to do that. When you put that hand in the air and perjury is in play, 
you've got a slight problem. And I think that's why they don't want to see Mark Jones. You know, when, when Anita Hill was put on the spot, I was one of the hundred or so folks who... Um, who signed a, uh, signed a piece, African American Women in Defense of Ourselves. There were over a hundred of us who took out an ad in the New York Times and the Amsterdam News to talk about black women supporting black women. I want to see white women do that for, uh, for this woman, uh, this professor who has an impeccable reputation. Here's the other thing I want to know. How did Brett Kavanaugh and his folks know to get 65 p women to sign a letter before you even know that there were some female problems, if you will. They knew what was going on and they knew what was going down. Diane Feinstein is my my senator to the fifth that I consider myself still a Californian mm -hmm. and um, love her dearly. I think she mishandled this. I think that she yeah, should have moved did. it uh, much more quickly. However, the FBI sent the letter that she sent to them to the White House. Right. So they did know that something was going on. Right. See, 45 does not care whether or not right. someone is a sexual harasser. That makes them members of the club. But that, <laughs> but women around the country are not going to put up with that. So the question is just whether or not we're going to end up with two sexual predators on the Supreme Court as opposed to the one that we already and have. And you have potentially a sexual harasser nominating another sexual harasser, but we don't really know that without an investigation. And well, even though we, I'm we, not a big fan of Brett Kavanaugh, I do believe strongly well, in well, due Laura, process. I believe in due process, too. Uh -huh. I believe in due process also, okay. but the fact is that this is something that they have deliberately hidden. And so you can't have due process when you don't have due. you don't have due. How do we know that they've deliberately hidden anything? We, 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 know, that the F, we know that the FBI sent the Feinstein letter. To, but, to, but Dr. Ford didn't want to be revealed. And so right. that was the, that was the that hesitation is, of the But still, right. you have exactly. a letter. And this, this, right. then the but Senate and the Hill, president... Wait, 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 but Anita wait. Hill didn't want to be revealed either. But when Anita Hill was brought out. And she did not right. sign up. She was brought out. She was sitting in her classroom at whatever the university she was in Oklahoma, minding her own self-business, where the FBI yes. came and said, we are investigating. She didn't volunteer for that. She was vilified. So no and, woman and, and will Senator Biden. for that. Well, he was in I don't charge know of that no committee woman. at that time. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, Stormy Daniels, but what I mean, are you talking about? I think that I think your point is well taken. When you have an accuser who doesn't want to come out, and it also, Miss Miss Ford, Dr. Ford did not know who the nominee was going to be. So I get her hesitation. She was sort of waiting to see, oh, is the guy that, that allegedly did this that's to not, me? Right. And, and, and she Donald and she Trump had alleged. Hold on, hold on. In 2012, mm -hmm. yes. uh, when she she did not name him, right. but she talked about exactly what took place. Right. To your particular point, Carol's name was not on the list. The list when he during the election, he weighed the list of 25 names the Fairless Society gave him. They wanted to be on the Supreme Court. He wasn't on the list. Kavanaugh's name was added to the list, and in fact, Mitch McConnell told him, to do him right. told him not to do don't it. nominate Kavanaugh because <laughs> as a long <laughs> first of all, not, not, see, not all, because of sexual assault, but no, because no, of no, the no, torture. No, 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 no. I don't necessarily know that because here's the problem. Here's the problem. Uh, that letter, her letter, Feinstein had right. the letter in, um, what, May, June? Right, July. Okay, July. 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 Right. So he gets named, uh, and McConnell is saying, this guy, look, he's a long, he's a long paper trail. It's going to be a problem. We don't know what McConnell knew early on, right. but, the, but the bottom line is his name wasn't on that initial list. Trump really put him on the list because of his views on protecting a and president. He, yeah, fact, he, he, he bought matter. his pardon. It's like if you, if like this girl in, um, in uh, Dallas... If she could pick her own jury, she would pick her daddy. And that's literally what um, Trump did with picking Kavanaugh. He picked somebody who he knew the was going to be I want everyone to him. keep in mind that we have an, a, a Supreme Court term that begins October 4th. They and they want him they on. They want him on there. And, and, and that's why all Period. this nonsense the about the 11th hour, the 11th hour. Right. No, it's not. You actually don't have to rush it because right. um, clearly when it came to... Merrick Garland, they had no problem waiting 230 days for an election right, to hold a seat thank open. You. So let's not act like, so all this, that's why I don't want to hear it's Mitch right. McConnell, it's I don't right. want to hear this crap about Democrats are not following proper order. <laughs> I mean, this SOB has not followed order right. Uh, right. across no the order board, so I don't, right, no, there is no order. But to your point, I mean, it's, I don't think anyone can say definitively that they really believe that the Republicans are going to lose the Senate. So if we can wait, Republican Party can no. wait. No, 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 they can't. Can. No, they no, really no. Can. They, they, really they, they, they ain't really trying to take no chances They're because, not. because right. the, la the latest poll, first yeah. of all, there was an early poll that showed Beto <laughs> O'Rourke was down by nine to uh, Ted Cruz. New poll that came out shows it's a dead heat. you got Democrats who are up in Arizona. Uh, you got you got Tennessee. But that just takes it down to f if maybe no. fifty. No 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 no, no 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 no. Here's my whole point. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell ain't trying I... to chance Jack. 
His whole deal is let's get all this stuff before November because mm -hmm. we don't know what's going to happen uh, in November. That's what he's doing. He wants to rush this. They want Kavanaugh to be confirmed. They want he, they want him to be sworn in and starting October 4th. And but they see, want that, him that to be October... in a position to pardon oh, the arrest. Yeah, pattern, absolutely. If they can. The, Lauren, go. The October 4 issue is huge. If we hit Monday and that woman steps out and there. And she says she's because not Because there's no out. way that Deborah Katz is going to let her step out there with anything less than what sounds a heck of a lot like the description of an attempted rape unless, you know, there's no way Deborah Katz, as good of an attorney she is, is going to allow that to happen if, in fact, she does step out and talk. And I think the optics of that for them are extremely difficult. I think it's, it's no, there's no way that she's going to testify and it's just going to be some scene of, revel, you know, teen drunken revelry and then that's it. It's going to be something that hits the legal definition of, of sexual assault. assault. Exactly. Sexual yeah. assault or rape. Well, and, and quite frankly, door, to get back to due process a minute, I mean, we've heard a lot of people on TV talking about how, and I believe, you know, we should take these allegations very seriously. Very seriously. But frankly, I mean, in the black community, when I think about the Scottsboro Boys and Emmett Till and the Central Park Five, I believe strongly in due process. I know it's not going to play out that way neatly. It's going to play out in the press because the way these things happen is people show up, they contact reporters, and the press ends up being the, the impetus of an investigation. I totally understand that. But I do think, even though I'm not a Kavanaugh fan, that he has a right to tell his side just as well, she does. Well, he does have a Got right it. to tell his side. Final comment, final but, comment. You know, the alcohol use as a young person suggests that he don't know his side. He doesn't know what's going know on. That. No, but, but we don't yeah, know that. look at his yearbook. What we know, the we beer know club, the press. look at, which no, is fine, well, but we, we don't know that yet. Well, Laura, I, I get you with due process, but I also get the fact that women have not been believed consistently. I get it. And we really do need to pay attention it. to this woman. We understand that. And we know that they're Holes in his story, well, we and believe, when his boy, we believe if in his boy, of justice, or we don't. If right? his boy refuses to <laughs> testify, that's telling you something we right there. We believe in due process. If the guy who was in the room don't. says he cannot testify, that tells you everything you need to know. No, Look, as a Republican woman no, voter, I'm looking at We need at an this. investigation. But I'm looking. Well, at I don't want anything through the press. We need an investigation. Well, I don't disagree with you about an investigation, but I think your insistence on so-called due process, and I say so-called. As African Americans, we more than anybody should believe in due process. We know that there's been extrajudicial justice in this country. I know you know that better than anybody, right? I believe that both sides. We should know both sides of the story. Well, then let the FBI investigate and let, the, make any and let the Republicans that. stop saying we want to wait, we want to wait, we want to wait, we want to wait, or we got to vote, or we got to vote up or down. I agree. Um, we, I agree. If, I agree. if, if, if the FBI, they did, uh, Anita Hill, and, and she had no idea that her name was even in the hopper. True. She had no clue. True. And they just came. Like I said, she's teaching her class, minding her business. Right. Little professor in the middle of nowhere, and here come the FBI okay. upending her life. Okay. Right. So. They could do the same. They yeah, could do I, the so same. I, as a Republican woman, I think, comment, that, I think that women like me are looking at that, and white women are looking at her, and they're seeing themselves in her. And while I completely agree with you, we need to have due process. But what kind of process do we have? It's really boiled down to he says one thing, she said another. Impressive. And if she doesn't show up, right? And if she doesn't show up, the Republicans, because it's politically expedient, they're going to move forward so they can get their uh, Supreme Court well, justice. They, but white women, white Republican women, I believe they're going to consider this issue, and they're certainly going to oh, consider so this issue. They're already underwater with white Republican women. See, they're in big trouble, and this thing that plays out Monday no. is huge white, trouble White Republican women are going to bounce back well, well, behind this. Well, well, this well here's the deal. This heard, white women are going to be I livid. I and it's I about time. Well, I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know because, because we thought white women were going to be pissed off when that when the Access Hollywood tape came no, out. No, because we, it happened. They no, that no, no, if he was just saying a joke, this no, is a no, real no, 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 no. This is a living, breathing white woman. This okay. could be their sister, their mother, their best friend. Mm -mm. I think this is different look, than the Hollywood man, access. The man said all kind of stuff about women during the campaign. And abstract them same women. white women, abstract and them women same only. white women went out there hollering, protect my Second Amendment right to a gun, and they voted for him. Julian is right. When you, have, when you have a specific person stepping out with a face and identity, it's a little bit different than the abstract woman. All right. <laughs> I, I get I get y'all trusting white women way more than I am. I, I ain't trusting white women that much. Look, my mama is a white woman. I'm telling you, my mama is a white woman. My sister's a white woman. Wait, I don't trust them either. But I do think that there's some buttons with them that you can push. All right. Rape and attempt, attempt to rape is one of them. Again, my mama is a white woman. My sister's up. My half my sisters, my half sisters are white women. That would be called your business. They are. I'm, look, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. Let y'all know. All right. White women. Okay, they, they we'll see. We'll see what we'll see. We'll see I'm what a resident expert on some white women, we'll in particular see. Yeah, okay. my mama we'll, and my sister. We'll see what Becky and Margaret do. We'll see. It's big. All right, y'all. It's big. It's big.